What are these mysterious red dots scattered across the cosmos that the James Webb Telescope found? No one knows for sure. They're, unlike anything we've seen before, appearing suddenly in the data from the James Webb Telescope. Tiny, compact, and incredibly red, these objects have left astronomers scratching their heads. Where do they come from? What are they hiding? And why have we only just now discovered them? These little red dots are so far away, existing when the universe was just a few hundred million years old. But here's where the mystery deepens. These objects don't behave like we'd expect. They don't fit into any neat categories we use to describe galaxies or black holes. There's something else, something new. Could they be a sign of an unknown process that shaped the universe in ways we've never considered? Or are they revealing cracks in our understanding of how the cosmos evolved after the Big Bang? Some scientists speculate that these objects might be hiding quasars, giant, ravenous black holes consuming everything around them. But if that's true, these quasars would be a hundred times more powerful than anything we've ever seen. That's right, these little red dots could be home to supermassive black holes, billions of times the mass of our sun, if not our own black hole at the center of our galaxy, growing at a pace that we thought was just physically impossible. But what if they aren't quasars at all? What if their star-forming galaxies pack so densely with new stars that their mass defies the models we've spent decades building. If that's the case, we're faced with a new puzzle. How could galaxies this massive, this early in the universe, even exist? And then we hit the dark matter problem. For years, we've believed that dark matter, this invisible substance, governs how galaxies form and evolve. But these red dots, with their immense mass and overabundance, don't seem to play by those rules. Are we missing something fundamental about the nature of dark matter? Well, probably because we still don't understand dark matter at all. Could these objects be pointing to new physics, something that rewrites how we understand the universe's structure? And it doesn't stop there. These objects are cloaked in dust, obscuring much of their light. But what's hiding behind that dust? Could it be that the early universe was just much, much dustier than, and more chaotic than we ever imagined, with violent bursts of star formation and black hole activity tucked behind layers of cosmic dust? If so, these little red dots are revealing the universe's best-kept secrets, finally exposed by the power of the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared vision. We thought we understood how galaxies formed, we thought we had a handle on how black holes grew, but these red dots are turning all of that upside down. Are they evidence of a universe where supermassive black holes and galaxies grew together, fueling each other in ways we didn't expect? Or do they represent a new kind of object, something we've never encountered before? But what if there's something else entirely? Some theories suggest that these dots could be faint, compact remnants of earlier, more massive galaxies, their outer layers stripped away, leaving behind dense cores that challenge our understanding of galaxy evolution. Others speculate that these might be early galaxies that grew rapidly, somehow defying the gravitational limits we thought dark matter imposed. These red dots are more than just anomalies. They could be evidence that cosmic growth in the early universe was faster, more intense, and far stranger than we've imagined. And perhaps the most tantalizing question of all, what else is out there that we still can't see? If these little red dots only became visible with the James Webb Space Telescope, what other mysteries are still lurking, waiting for us to uncover them? Maybe this is just the beginning. Maybe these little red dots are the first clues that the universe is far more mysterious than we ever thought, full of hidden forces and unseen realms that even now we're only starting 
to comprehend. These are questions that could reshape everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. The answers, they're out there, waiting to be uncovered.